Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's going on? And good evening to all of you. I'm back again with another word from the Lord. This word is encouraging. Um, I really needed this word this week because I felt like everything was not going well. I mean, it was going well, but then there were like little distractions here and there, like I would trip over a shoe and then I dropped my phone and then the papers that I needed for my classes weren't with me. Like it was just little things. And um, I just felt like I could not get myself together and I would just pray in between and ask the Lord, hey, can you help me? But I ended up feeling bad. I don't know about y'all, but I ended up feeling bad about myself this week. And so just want to jump into this word real quick. God had led me to 1 Timothy 4 verses 12 to um, 15. And I'm going to read that in the New Living Translation. It says, teach these things. Oops, sorry, y'all. Well, this is verse 11, so I guess I could start there. It says, teach these things and insist that everyone learn them. Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. Until I get there, focus on reading the scriptures to the church, encouraging the believers and teaching them. Do not neglect the spiritual gift you received through the prophecy spoken over you when the elders of the church laid their hands on you. Give your complete attention to these matters. Throw yourself into your task so that everyone will see your progress. Um, I'm going to read verse 16 to y'all. And it says, keep a close watch on how you live and on your teaching. Stay true to what is right for the sake of your own salvation and the salvation of those who hear you. So, um, that was so encouraging to me, especially where the word says, just throw yourself into your task. Don't focus so much on your problems. Don't focus on what you're going through. Don't focus on the distractions because the more that you focus on the negative things, the more that they will maximize, you know what I mean? And so I just took this as God saying, Hey, you know, Go and do what I have assigned you to do. Don't focus on like, am I doing the right thing? Is God accepting me doing the right thing? Is God loving up on me and everything? It, it's almost to a point sometimes we focus so much on whether we're doing the right thing. It can become more of the self and less of God. And um, that's not the direction in which God wants us to go, you know? So, please read, you know, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 11 to 16, and be encouraged this week. Be encouraged, you know. It may be a tough week, like, you know, I had a tough week. Work was hard. Schooling was hard. I felt disconnected with everything, even with myself. And, you know, listening to a couple sermons and listening to some um, videos on YouTube really got me back into, you know, focusing on what I really need to focus on, which was, you know, having that time and building that relationship with Christ and doing self-care. Christ cares about self-care, okay? He wants us to take care of ourselves, to have a good sleep, to have um good nutrition to take care of our bodies to have a spa day for you know something anything like that um so i really just encourage y'all to just seek out this word and seek out what god is saying to you specifically about this word maybe he wants you to focus on like not thinking about or worrying about you know, how people are coming at you in whatever ministry or whatever godly thing that God has called you to do. Or maybe he's saying like, you know, um, to you that just, you know, throw yourself into your tasks and, you know, don't focus so much on the desires of your heart or anything like that. Because he, even he knows those, like he even knows the desires of our hearts that we may not be able to put into words or that we may not be able to really um, even 
like comprehend and and come into knowing of like he knows our heart in the deepest sense more than we know it ourselves so um i just wanted to get on here and relay this word that holy spirit told me to relay to y'all to be encouraged be encouraged god loves you and remember and he had to remind me of this and he reminds me this often because sometimes i think that what i do for god shows that i love god and that's the only way that he accepts love for me or to love me is if I do something for him. And just last night, he relayed to me. He's like, no, daughter, I love you for you. There's nothing that you can remotely do to make me love you any less than I, you know, I, I already love you so much. And that's the same thing that he's telling y'all that he loves y'all so much so much like he loves y'all so much there's nothing that you need to do as far as works you know I mean faith without works is dead but you don't have to work for his love it's already freely given so y'all be encouraged meanwhile I'm sitting up here looking like a little ragamuffin and I'm about to do some self-care myself <laughs> I have to go and wash my hair but um love y'all y'all have a great and blessed week you know i'm gonna be back i know that i'm gonna be back holy spirit said i am going to be back <laughs> that can be a prophetic word within itself because <laughs> thank lord he's gonna be returning soon very soon but um be encouraged y'all and i love y'all praying for y'all and have a great and blessed week.